Uh, we gathered here today and, and tomorrow with a lot of people from Europe and outside Europe um, because we wanted to talk about a new building. And for me, uh, the most important things in, in this new building is the people who walk in the building need two things. First of all, they need an, an atmosphere where creative, creativity and innovation is uh, there. And also uh, we need a lot of uh, media technology, that the state of the art media technology. And we try to bring these two together in this uh, new building. I'm quite inspired by the scale of it. I hadn't realised how big it was. I've been over here a couple of years ago looking at the um, Live IP project, which is very close to what I'm working on. Um, and I just hadn't picked up then how large it was and how the fact they're building the new building interleaved with keeping the old building running, which is quite ambitious. So it's, it's ambitious, but I think it looks good. The new virtual building, it's really interesting to see how they um, uh, arrange the spaces. For instance, they have the big studio, the TV studios that are underground. You don't need light for the studios, so it's very smart. We are thinking of, not thinking, we want to go to more flexible workspaces. And I learned that it has to be designed properly with the right amount of uh, area where people can be apart and concentrate when they need to uh, to do it. So it was really interesting. So at the moment, uh, the trend is open space for office spaces. And so, um, but like we just heard in the lecture from the professor about the need for privacy and how open spaces uh, might not be the most effective type of office space, um, they're still kind of debating uh, how they want to approach that. Um, now I think uh, most interesting for me uh, was the brain uh, lesson, the lesson about the brain and uh, how the brain influences the way we work and uh, the spaces and the offices, how they should be planned. And here the media hub uh, of uh, VRT was very interesting because I think it's a quite good idea to mix these young people who are socialized with social media and are fully digital uh, with traditional journalists and bring them together to create something new. I think the ecology is really important. I hadn't realised how much parkland they've got around here that is really locked down at the moment and bringing that into the work environment is a really good idea. I think flexibility, I guess, is the, the keyboard because the needs they changed all the time, and, uh, and that's mostly the, the limitation for what you can do in an existing building, is to do, do things in a new way. Uh, we want to build this new home, but it's not only about the building, it's not about uh, uh, choosing the colors of the walls or deciding whether you want a carpet or not. Um, but it's, um, it's also uh, about uh, an, another way of working and uh, facilitating that uh, people can uh, work together. I was very impressed by the philosophy and uh, how to do things uh, in terms of size, but a change process is very complicated and the building the building is not the complicated part. <laughs> Well, the, the building has two main parts, the, what we call the body and, and the head. Uh, the body is, is, is the main building where, where all the different departments will be located and where the main reception area will be. And then the head will be specifically targeted at, uh, at public uh, uh, activities. There will be an auditorium, public uh, studios uh, and lots of other uh, opportunities and possibilities.